it's your girl T, and this story is unbelievable. I mean, this is some crazy ass shit. I couldn't make this up if y'all paid me. So if you guys have not heard, there has been a rise of hair robberies in Maria Cabo, Venezuela. So basically what's happened is that these men are walking up to women who have extremely long hair, the straighter the better, and they're basically putting guns to these women's hair. They're making them pull their hair back in a ponytail and they're cutting it off. And once they get the hair, they're able to resell it for upwards of $500. This situation is not only crazy, but it's insane. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip right now, and then I will come back with the rest of my commentary. Women in the town of Maracaibo in northwestern Venezuela are facing a new threat. Yeah, and it's a serious and dangerous, and it's also a little bit weird. We're talking about hair robbery. Criminals want their locks, and the straighter, the better. Here's Rafael Romo. Letting your hair down in the Venezuelan coastal city of Maracaibo can make you a target for criminals. You have to see it to believe it. We're not going to be able to have long hair anymore. As a woman, this is something traumatic. Authorities have recently noticed an increase in the number of attacks against women. The common denominator, all of the victims had long hair. It's happening downtown, at the beach or the mall, where you find a lot of young women. The thieves grab them by the hair, pull out some scissors, and they cut it. They then sell it at beauty or hair salons. In Venezuela, they call these thieves piranhas. Yes, piranhas just like the meat-eating fish found in South American rivers. It's a crime of opportunity. Just like piranhas, the thieves are fast, ferocious, and seem to have very little compassion for their unsuspecting long-haired victims. It's also happening in neighboring Colombia. Arlene Luna was victimized last year. Luna says that by the time she realized what had happened to her, the thieves had already fled and a chunk of her braid was missing. She lost eight inches of hair. From the robber's perspective, it's quick and relatively easy money. This hair stylist says synthetic hair costs anywhere from $40 to $160, depending on its quality. But natural hair can cost well over $500, all the more to guard your tresses. Oh wow, goodness. Raphael is here. So, so literally, they're running up in the street, grab the hair, cut it, run. They normally work in teams of two, uh, riding a motorcycle, and then oh. somebody jumps off the motorcycle with scissors in hand, and by the time the victim knows about it, the robbers are already gone. They have already fled. They also have found cases in which it's just a single person with scissors hiding them. All of a sudden, you know, and they violent. Oh, wow. hear and the noise of scissors cutting your hair and then they run away. And they've always gotten injured if they have to be. Uh, no, no. no. Uh, this is a crime of opportunity. Right. The quicker, the faster they can do that and run away, that's the better because you essentially make $500 in a matter of seconds. Oh, my goodness. Mm. So women with, with, you know, eight inches or more hair... They're definitely pinning their hair up, yeah, bun something. You're at risk Are they if trying you're to in fight that back in that way? That's amazing. Exactly. The value of it. Yeah. Because I, I know here, here in Atlanta, and I think elsewhere in the U.S. too, you see stores that sell extensions getting you know, robbed. Yeah, you know, that's true. They drive it is big the business old... across the country. And now authorities are saying uh, the best thing you can do is prevention, wear your hair in a bun. Mm. And then all of a sudden you're no longer a target. At the same time, they're dispatching police officers to the problem areas, oh my but the threat is still there. That's amazing. That's one, one thing to steal hair extensions from a store, but off somebody's hair. That's, that's, that's incredible. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip, and this whole situation is just crazy. So these piranhas that are out here robbing these women of their hair at gunpoint, I think the situation is sick. I mean, it's obvious that the hair obsession that we have in America is now affecting other countries. You know, the hair prices have gone up 30%. And these people are making upwards of $500 to rob somebody of their hair. And this is not the first time that I've heard about this. I've also been hearing that women in India are being robbed of their hair as well. That men are going up to women in India and they're just taking scissors and cutting off their hair and running. You know, this would not be happening in these countries to these women if there was not a huge supply and demand for it here in America. The biggest consumers of hair weave are black women. Do other races wear weave? Yes, they do. Do white women wear weave? Yes, they do. But we wear the most weave out of anybody. And most of us who do wear weave refuse to wear weave that's similar to our hair texture. You will rarely ever see a black woman with a hair te with a weave that's this hair texture. Most people like the silky straight, the yakky. It has to be something that's easy for them to do because they feel like, why would I get a curly or kinky weave when I, could just, when I don't feel like being bothered with my own kinky hair?
I think if we here in America weren't so obsessed with fucking hair, other people would not be out here robbing folks at gunpoint just to get the hair off their head. You know, this is insane. And then in America, you have people out here robbing the Koreans. I mean, black folks have been turning into ninjas over the past few years trying to get into these hair shops. You got them busting through windows with cars, breaking through cement walls, all this to steal money, but to steal weed. You Business not for cash, not for jewels, but for hair. About $50,000 worth of hair. And they went to some extreme measures to get it. But Cynthia Arenas has more. The owner of the business says he was stunned when he saw what happened. I'm about to show you why. The burglars first cut a hole in this fence, then made their way across the parking lot and pulled off a steel door to get inside. And they pulled this middle door off the wall. And that's how they got in. The burglars cut a hole in one wall and then another to break in in the middle of the night. How they did it is hard to believe. That's, that's messed up, man. We hard, I mean, we poor folks, too. We trying to make a living, too, you know? Like everybody else. I mean, we get a job. We work. Surveillance video shows the burglars crawling to avoid being detected by burglar alarm sensors. They cleaned out a whole section of Jay's beauty supply. What did you think when you realized how much was missing? I just went blank. I, I was upset. I was upset. I wasn't happy. Um, in the sense of loss and the sense of violated. You know, it, it just is bad. The thieves stole more than $50,000 worth of real human hair. This is a hot commodity. Yes, it is. It really is. Everybody wants hair. Everybody wants expensive hair, long hair. And that's what's going around now. The owner tells us beauty supply places are now being targeted. A box of human hair sells for anywhere from 50 to $150 a box. These guys knew what they were doing. Yes, definitely. Um, as you see, I have bunch of other hair. I have hundreds of different kind of hair. What they, they came straight to section where I had the most expensive hair on this play, and that's all they took. Jay Yoom suspects the burglars had been in his store before, maybe more than once. Houston police came to investigate, but were told that they didn't find much. There weren't a whole lot of fingerprints. These were professional burglars who were told to more than likely sell all that hair out of the back of a car. In Northwest Houston, Vicente Arenas, KHOU. You got folks who Ella. sell weave out the trunk of their car. Stealing weave is a new hustle. You know, I just don't understand. I don't understand the obsession. It's crazy. You know, I used to wear weave before I went natural. I haven't worn weave in a while. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with wearing weave. But it should not be that damn serious that you're willing to steal, that you want to kill somebody, that you want to put a gun to somebody's head to steal their hair. It's insane that people are that obsessed with weave. Mark my words, they're going to start a new law enforcement agency. So instead of the DEA, it's going to be the WEA, the Weave Enforcement Agency. Why? Because this shit is unbelievable and re damn ridiculous. They're going to have to start an agency because now people are trafficking hair illegally. They're robbing folks of their hair at gunpoint. They're going to have to start a new agency to find out where the hair came from, just like they had to do for the blood diamonds. I mean, you can't make this shit up. This is just insane to me. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the entire situation. Do you think because America's obsession with hair weave and extensions is now trickling overseas, who do you blame for the obsession? And then what do you think about these men who are out here robbing these women at gunpoint for their hair? And why do you feel like people are so obsessed with hair? So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. All right. This is... So the question of the day is, what is the craziest thing that someone has ever done to you? Go ahead, leave a comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to share the video.